gotten their only WPIL football championship back in 1998. They've been to the playoffs 10 times since without being able to repeat. Well, nothing could be better for them on homecoming night than a win over South Fayette because a lot of people think Moon could return to that championship this year. The Tigers came into the game ranked number one in the WPIL, number four in the state in 5A, but they had a tough visitor hoping to spoil things. South Fayette in a conference opener for both. The Lions scored first. Quarterback Landon Lutz hits Nate Deans, who cuts it back 71 yards all the way to the Moon five. Deans would take it in from the three. Justin Caputo added the extra point. Seven to nothing South Fayette after a quarter. But Moon put together an impressive 13-play drive that ate up most of the second quarter. The key play, Tyler McGowan to Dante Dascio for 19 yards on a second and 17. Dylan Sleva completed the 80-yard drive, and Jacob Whelan added the extra point, and it was tied at seven. Moon got the ball back with less than three minutes in the half. No time for a 13-play drive this time. McGowan hits Tate Beachy for 24 yards to the South Fayette 26. After McGowan ran for 21 more, Sleva takes it in, and Moon has a 14-7 lead with two touchdowns coming in the final four minutes of the half. After a bad snap on a field goal try to start the second half for South Fayette, Moon struck on one play. A 57-yard connection from McGowan to Beachy, 21-7, Moon. But the Lions come right back. Fourth and goal at the four. Lutz hits Logan Yader to make it 21-13, but it stayed that way because Josh Bladel blocked the extra point try. Moon's lead was still eight. Fourth quarter, South Fayette with a first and goal at the one, but the Stout Moon defense held strong, pushing them back on two straight plays. The turnover on downs turned into a 92-yard clinching drive with McGowan taking it home for a 28-13 final. I think it just helps solidify everything they've done so far. You know, going into conference play, getting that first one under our belt, I think it shows that we've done what we've done the last five weeks is kind of what we are capable of doing here moving forward. With Kiske losing tonight, Moon is the only unbeaten team now in 5A. They travel to Peters Township next week. If they win that game, they'll have a stranglehold on the Allegheny Six Conference. At Tiger Stadium in Moon Township, I'm Guy Junker for Operation Football.